One of the features of Aperture, and in particular Aperture 3 here, that I really appreciate is the ability to make many changes using tools that are non-destructive. And what that means is it doesn't create a new version of the file every time you make a change. It just records some metadata saying what you did to the picture and then applies that for you to see and only creates a new version of the file taking up hard drive space and that kind of thing when you actually edit the picture in say Photoshop or you exported something like that. And one of the features that Aperture 3 has that I've really taken a liking to are what they call quick brushes. And I'm gonna show them here. What it is, I have a, a photograph here I'm gonna to use to demonstrate with. And if you click on the adjustments panel here, you can see that we have, of course, all the adjustment tools that we've seen before. But we also have this section here called quick brushes. And in there it has, if you like, think of them as some, some tool presets for various things like skin smoothing, darkening and lightening of the photograph and that kind of thing. And so I'm going to give you a quick example of some of these. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these quick brushes. If we choose this one here, this intensify contrast brush, it's going to bring up this little HUD here. And I'm going to go through quickly the controls on here. This applies, the principles of this apply to most of these brushes. When I click and hold here, it brings up a visual representation of the brush and I can just drag left and right to change the size of the brush and you may notice that there's a, a solid line on the outside of the circle and a dotted one on the inside and between those two is the softness of the edge of the brush and you can adjust that with this next tool by clicking here and just dragging if I drag to the right we're making the edge of the brush softer and if I drag to the left we're making the edge of the brush harder so I'm just going to put that somewhere in the middle about there for now now for these videos, so that you can really see what's going on, I'm actually setting the full strength here for the effect of these brushes, just so that by the time the video goes to the web and that sort of thing, you know, you might lose, might not be able to see some of what's going on. So I'm just putting it at full effect to help us out here. So going to the photograph, if I just click with my tablet pen here and I just start painting, you can see that we're applying this effect using a brush and I'm just going to painting an area here. So we just paint some area in there, just darken that up a little, bring out a little more contrast and that kind of thing. Now going back to the panel on the left hand side here, these three icons, you can see that if you, if you hover the mouse over there and just wait, it'll tell you what it does. So this one essentially allows us to paint the area we want to apply it to. And this eraser tool allows us to go back in and remove it. So I can paint here and say, okay, I, you know what? I didn't really mean to put it there. So I can just paint and remove that. Or if I do too much, I can just go back here and reapply some of it. And then this middle tool here is, it's kind of a, a softening tool. So let's say like this area here, we want to blend this edge a little more. I can now click and paint and notice how it's sort of blending the edge. It's like a little sort of effect blur, just specific to the tool that we're using here. So it's not such a harsh edge and you can see that it makes it a little more natural. So that's the intensify contrast tool. And on this uh, right hand side here, you know, you can choose some different modes and those kind of things, but we won't go into those now. This is just a, a quick overview. So, Going in, let's look at some of these other brushes. We have, you know, skin smoothing for portraits, for softening sort of the effects of skin. That's always a nice one. We have some standard controls, contrast, saturation, definition, vibrancy, and blurs and sharpens and those kind of things. So, you know, you have lots of brushes available to you and these quick brushes are just sort of quick fix tools that, you know, if you like, they've, they've gone through and thought, what are the things that you do most often and created some preset brushes for you to go in and take care of those. Now remember these are all non-destructive so it's not generating a new file every time you play with them so feel free to try them out and, and see what you think. But that's the quick brushes in Aperture 3.